All right, good morning, everybody. Louis Borsley, old man on the market. And I made this video is not only to show you an educational video, but these are the things that you, the retail trader, and all the things that you have to understand that after 30 years of doing this and watching what happened at the Merck and all the different things, the guy who used to fill 10% of the volume understands institutional order flow. And these are the things that bother me that the exchange allows the institutions to pick our pockets, the average retail guy. And the exchange were made on retail guys and these institutions have inside information and have deep pockets are allowed to do things to um, deceive, deceive us. This is basically deceiving us so that they can get their own gain, right? And you got firms out there like Geico and Jump Trading that have made gobs of money by deceiving us and being able not only getting co-location, right? Co-location so that they, they can get in front of the order flow but they, they're able to go and put deceiving things and uh, orders and bids and offers out of place to sucker us in, right? So this is yesterday's day only in a 30 minute increment, okay? This was the first half hour of the day. This was the second half hour of the day, but this only happened, this spike up happened, not because that uh, you know the market was going higher. This happened because of the news that came out with oil. So oil came up, you know, there was uh, there was more supply uh, than they thought and uh, uh, or there was uh, less production. And so it spiked up a buck. And then this is the rest of the day in a half hour increments right here. OK, so I, I noticed that in the first half hour. OK, all I saw were big bids, big bids all the way down. Right. Starting from this high. OK. And so I started to look at it. And I said, you know what, from 76 down to almost 69 half. A 10 point handle, all they did was sell. But all you could see, all right, all you can see in the big, big picture, and this is the video I made yesterday. I want you to see this video, okay? And listen to what I say here. happening is the algos are in a sell mode and they're trying to sucker everybody into buying in front of their bids right and you know if you if, if you see on the upside there's a, you know they got 15 on offer at two and a half and a thousand offer at three and which they don't really care they really love to be filled on that if this is if this is true we're really in a sell mode and if you look at your delta what's going on with delta right now This is what bothers me that the CME allows them to do these things. Right? And uh, they, they, don't, they don't level the playing field. First of all, they should, when in the, in the old days, you were able to see who was actually putting a bid and offer in or put in one. So if there's a goal. All right. So I made that video to see where will we be by the end of the day. Oh, look at this. We're down to 2058. The first half hour of the day, all they did was sell the market, but they didn't show these sells. They didn't sell 1,000 lot uh, 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 sells. They sold them offs and ones and twos and fives and 20s and 30s. And they did it in front of the retail guy by uh, put, deceiving bids in so they can get their sells off, right? So. I'm going to show you another another picture, all right? So this is profile, right? So this is remember that when we do profile, all these letters represent what we uh, a 30 minute increment starting with 8:30 in the morning in in uh, a time frame, right? So what I do, all right, is that I go into there and I split the market up like this. I go to the first hour and a half, so I split it in E, okay? So I got the first hour and a half BCD, all right? And then I split it in the middle of the day right here, okay? And I go to H, all right? So I want you to know yesterday, so what I showed our people in our room, okay, is that I drew this channel, 
all right and it's going to be hard because i i drew the channel and then i i wanted you guys to see how i split profile up during the day so i'm trying to get this the way i had it in the room yesterday okay so i drew this this sort of trend trend right here from this right okay and i drew it through bracket j all right right through bracket i right here and i said if the market gets under 70 20 67 quarter okay we should probably go down to 58 okay and this is what i told our people in the trading room yesterday all right you get in man over market trading room and i'm going to teach you guys number one how to recognize these algos i got another thing that i'm working on it's going to be called the algo buster and when i put it out there i know they're going to be looking for my head because what i've been able to do is take tick data and put it down to the millisecond and i can analyze it every day and i can store it and i can store it for for pennies on the dollar all right for like 25 bucks a month and i'm going to be able to give people access and allow you guys to look at this stuff so one of the things i was looking at yesterday was this is a profile showing a gap from 58 to 61 okay from the previous day on monday so that became my target okay it became my target so i was looking for the market to fill in the 58 but that here you know so this became a progression throughout the day right i saw what happened in the first hour and a half or first hour d was an aberration oil news came out we spiked up it was over with we came back once we got back under the air the market was going down and it go, went down all day and they were in the sell mode but they didn't show thousand lot sells yeah they do way off the market they put the bids in so they could get all of you little guys all of us little guys in our ones and twos and fives and tens and twenties right and the cme allows them to do this all right they allow them to put these kind of deceiving offers and bids in and take advantage of the people that don't have the information that they have all right so you know one of the things we were looking for not only for that as you see this was the day before all right these are what we call single prints so this buying tail we wanted to see this get filled in and we wanted to see so you see these lines on my chart from the day as i was looking for the single prints to get filled in and then i was looking for this see from black here to red all right that was the gap from 61 right here 61 down to 58 all right and i gave our guys in our trading room yesterday this information at one o'clock all right everybody all right stay tuned i'm coming out with my algo buster and you guys are going to be able to get access to it cheaply all right uh louis porcino man over market and have a good day trading and by the way you can come in our trading room take a seven day uh, free trial uh, if you want to make uh, money trading uh, es and get some good trading ideas trading uh, gold and oil you get in our room all right talk to you later and not only that all right we also have our indicators okay i you know, i keep telling everybody about our uh, about our uh indicators which are our uh what we call our trend trend finders okay so here's our trend finders right here all right and i'll put our five minute pivot out there you know i, I didn't want to make this too long i want to keep it under 10 minutes but all right our five minute pivot okay these red dots we're in a cell okay all day all day then we had our built bull bear zone right here okay and we once we we got underneath it here's us getting underneath the bull bear zone we never got back up and you can see these are our trend finding red pivots and they stayed in a cell all right everybody and then on my chart here was the 61 to 58 that's what i was looking for yesterday all right everybody come on in take a free trial and know what we know and you know we're not always right but we get a pretty good educated guess talk to you later bye